In our infinite space, among the countless stars twinkling in the night sky, unimaginable celestial events occur. Today we'll look at one such event, the stellar catastrophe known as a supernova. Supernovae have always fascinated us. Recently, the star Betelgeuse has dimmed dramatically, leading some scientists to speculate that it may soon become a supernova. If so, it will be the brightest supernova observed from Earth in more than 400 years. Join us on a journey to understand these stellar catastrophes and their impact on our planet. Stars go through cycles of birth, life, and death, but some of them put on a spectacular performance in their last act. A supernova is a powerful and brilliant stellar explosion that occurs in the final stages of a star's life. When the nuclear fusion in its core can no longer support the outer layers, the core collapses under its own gravity, resulting in a massive explosion that can briefly obscure the entire galaxy. The energy released by a supernova is equivalent to the energy our Sun radiates during its 10 billion year lifetime. Supernovae are not just fascinating cosmic phenomena. They play an important role in shaping the world. They are responsible for the distribution of elements throughout space. Elements that are necessary for the formation of planets and life. In fact, most elements heavier than iron, including gold and platinum, are believed to have formed in supernova explosions. So the gold in your jewelry, the iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, all were once part of a star that ended in a spectacular explosion. While our understanding of the universe has increased, these stellar explosions still fascinate us with their power and mystery. Recently, the star Betelgeuse in the Orion constellation has attracted the attention of astronomers. Betelgeuse, a red giant star nearing the end of its life, began to dim dramatically at the end of 2019 leading some to speculate that it may soon undergo a supernova. However, Betelgeuse has since returned to its normal brightness. The most accepted explanation for this event is that the star emitted a large cloud of dust, obscuring some of its light, making it appear less visible to us on Earth. As the dust cloud dissipated, Betelgeuse's brightness returned to normal, the life cycle of a star is a journey of transformation, starting from a vast cloud of gas and dust that collapses under the influence of its own gravity and heats up to form a protostar. Over millions of years, the protostar continues to collect mass from the surrounding nebula. As it grows, the pressure and temperature in its core increases. When the core temperature reaches about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, nuclear fusion begins, and the protostar transforms into a main sequence star, much like our sun. A star can remain in the main sequence, burning hydrogen in its core for billions of years. However, when the hydrogen fuel runs out, the star's fate depends on its mass. In stars similar in size to our sun, the core shrinks and heats up, causing the outer layers to expand and the star to become a red giant. Eventually, the core collapses and the outer layers are ejected, forming a planetary nebula. This process leaves behind a white dwarf. Not all stars meet their end in the same way. Some stars go supernova, and the type of supernova depends largely on the mass composition of the parent star. Let's focus on one of the most common types of supernovae we see. They originate from massive stars, much larger than our Sun. Stars with a mass at least eight times that of the Sun. These massive stars are in a constant battle between the gravitational pull inward and the fusion force pushing outward. When a star runs out of nuclear fuel, gravity wins the battle and the star's core collapses under its massive gravity. This very fast collapse happens in just a fraction of a second and results in a powerful explosion. The outer layers of the star explode and briefly exceed the entire galaxy. What is left of the star may form a dense neutron star or if it is massive enough, a black hole. A star's legacy continues through space by dispersing the elements formed during the star's lifetime. 
building the universe with the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. When a star goes supernova, it's not just a spectacle of light. It is one of the most energetic events in the world. The amount of energy released in a supernova explosion is enormous, equivalent to the amount of energy emitted by the Sun during its 10 billion year lifetime. But where does all this energy go? Most of it is carried by neutrinos, these tiny particles with almost no mass produced in large quantities. During a supernova, neutrinos travel at nearly the speed of light, carrying about 99% of the explosion's energy with them. The remaining energy is released as light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation, including gamma rays, the most energetic form of energy, and X-rays, which are less energetic but still much more powerful than visible light. The visible light of a supernova is so bright that it can briefly obscure an entire galaxy visible at great distances, making supernovae important cosmic beacons for astronomers. However, while observing supernovae is fascinating, they can pose potential dangers. The enormous energy and radiation released in a supernova explosion can have significant consequences, especially if the supernova is close enough to Earth. One of the main concerns is the impact on our planet's ozone layer. The ozone layer acts like the Earth's sunscreen and protects life from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. A powerful gamma ray burst from a nearby supernova can destroy the ozone layer and increase the amount of UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. This high UV radiation can have harmful effects on the biosphere, leading to higher rates of skin cancer in humans and other animals, disrupting photosynthesis in plants and potentially affecting entire ecosystems. In addition to gamma rays, supernovae also emit a stream of high-energy cosmic rays. These particles can cause further damage to the ozone layer, creating streams of secondary particles in the Earth's atmosphere and increasing radiation exposure. Fortunately, the chance of a supernova exploding close enough to Earth is extremely low, but it's important to understand these potential risks. It serves as a reminder of our connection to the cosmos and how events that occur light years away can have consequences right here on our planet. As we have seen, supernova explosions are powerful events that can have far-reaching consequences. Have you ever guessed that supernovae may have played a role in shaping Earth's history? Scientists have found evidence of past supernovae in the form of Iron 60, a radioactive isotope in ancient geological layers and Antarctic ice cores. Iron 60 does not occur naturally on Earth, but is created by supernovae, suggesting that our planet is littered with the remnants of these stellar explosions. One notable event is the Pleiades supernova, which erupted about 2.7 million years ago. Some scientists speculate that this supernova may have affected Earth's climate during the Ice Age and perhaps even contributed to a period of cooling. There is also a theory that supernovae may be linked to mass extinctions. The idea is that cosmic rays from the nearest supernova could damage the ozone layer, resulting in increased UV radiation at Earth's surface, damaging life, especially in the shallow ocean. When we stare into space, we're not just looking back. We also look to the future. Stars will continue to be born, live and die, and some will end their lives in supernova explosions. Looking ahead, what does the future hold for supernovae in our Milky Way galaxy? Astronomers estimate that on average, once every 50 years, a supernova explosion occurs in the Milky Way galaxy. However, most of these supernovae are not visible from Earth because dust and gas obstruct the direct view. A recent study has provided new insight into the mysterious behavior of the celestial giant Betelgeuse. The star, known for its semi-regular variations, has come under intense scientific scrutiny. 
These changes are manifested in brightness or light intensity. Unlike following a strict waxing and waning cycle, Betelgeuse oscillates in a predictable but not entirely regular fashion. Researchers have identified four different periods in Betelgeuse's changes, 200, 420, 230, and 185 days. These analyzes show that Betelgeuse is in the final stages of carbon core fusion, a stage in the life cycle of massive stars in which they undergo complex processes that lead to the synthesis of heavier elements. During this process, Betelgeuse's brightness decreased significantly from December 2019 to February 2020. Researchers speculate that during this period, Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped by about 100 K, potentially leading to a significant reduction. The researchers' findings lead to an interesting conclusion. Betelgeuse could be the next star in the galaxy to turn into a supernova. Betelgeuse stands out as a prime candidate for participating in this exciting cosmic event, given its late-stage carbon burning in its core, high luminosity, and complex changes. It is important to note that due to many factors that are not fully understood, it is very difficult to accurately predict when a star will turn into a supernova. Even with the signs, it could be thousands or even millions of years before it happens. When that happens, it will be a big show. The study of supernovae is vital to our understanding of the universe. These stellar catastrophes are not only endings, but also beginnings, saturating the universe with essential elements for stars, planets, and possibly new life. As we travel through the cosmos, we are constantly reminded of the majesty and mystery of the universe. Supernovae are evidence of the life cycle of stars, the creation of elements, and the interconnectedness of the universe. Despite their destructive nature, supernovae are also creators, filling the universe with the elements needed for new celestial bodies and life. They remind us that we are made of star material and are part of this vast, dynamic, and ever evolving universe. Thanks for watching this video. Best wishes. Until next time.